I'm back, guys. Sorry about that. I actually don't know what happened. Rest of the conference won't play until January. And really, I mean, these games are pivotal for Lincoln to get into that January schedule in game shape. I could not agree more. I mean, the conditioning that goes on in these games is something you cannot replicate. In Yo, Nicole, practice. how are you? Getting out and playing teams at a higher level really pushes you to a limit you don't think you can get to. The well, Lions are coming off a 23-6 and six season a year ago. They were 12-3 and three in their conference. Got bounced in the first round of the conference tournament. Henderson, no good. Come on. Continues for the Hawks. And a rebound for Gordy. Averaging over 11 rebounds a game in the first three games so far for Lincoln. Stamford to the lane. Off the window and in. Also, a little bit of a rut offensively. I would say that all the shots they've taken, good shot, just not connecting. But at the other end, they have to get the stops. And as you said, Lincoln on a little bit of a run. It's an 8 0 run overall. It's a 10 2 run as it goes <clears throat> there. As Santorelli has six as she ends the drought for the Hawks. And it's a two point ball game inside five minutes. Oh, Chris, how are you? Chris, what's up, buddy? How are you? Simple shots. Just turn around and make the bet on a layup. Uh problem again. Wait. Wait a minute guys. I'm hoping I can fix this. Same thing happened last time, so I think I got it working. I think I fixed it this time. What's that? Sorry guys about that, um... Sorry about that guys, I was having technical difficulties. I'm hoping I can, I'm hoping that this is so good. What are you guys up to today? Who are you guys rooting for? Who's your favorite football team, guys? I mean... Sports wow. bets at betrivers.com. Shout out to the ones turning heads, turning the tables, flipping the script, and ditching the labels. Shout out to you and to me, to the future we want to see. Turn it up, let me hear you say. We made today. Hold on. Ready or not, here I come. Gillette Pro Glide Pro Glide Gel. Five blades and a pivoting flex ball designed wow, for so cool. every hair on the first I didn't even know that I could do this. Oh. So you're ready for the day with a clean shave and a clean face. This is so cool. I didn't even know I could do that. So Tina. Helped me uh, make this hopefully. decision, and that really made everything much more comforting. One well, thing I don't like about this is it. Let's see that. Right, we're back. Five games back. With the early lead, ten to eight, and so far, Rini, it's shown that Lincoln is playing in their sixth game of the season. Absolutely does. They have a little more flow to their offense than St. Joseph's does at this time. They are pushing the ball down the floor. They know where their teammates are. And again, that comes from playing games. St. Joseph, on the other hand, the first game, they're a little bit nervous. And they're 
clicking is just not right yet. Santorelli, fast start so far. Yeah. And it's Lincoln possession. Oh, no basket. All right, I go to work. Smalls is in for the first time for the Hawks. So is Mary Sheehan. Little full court pressure by the Hawks, and they get the turnover. Good hustle, though, by Stanford as she's able to come away out of the scrum and pick up a foul also against Mary Sheehan. Well, the Hawks had the trap they wanted, but they're a little too aggressive on Sheehan. Nope, Colleen. Colleen. How are you? Richardson able to cross the timeline. Lincoln has a team, three of its last four on their trips down. Richardson out to Young. Stanford seven on the shot clock around the screen. Morton can't handle it, one to shoot, trying to get it away over Sheehan. Off the backboard, it's a shot clock violation. Well, good heads up play by Sheehan, recognizing the clock was very low. Just went out and just put her hands up on Morton and, uh, and a shot that went this right. Play. The third three-pointer attempted by Morton this season. She had been successful on her other two attempts. Foul called away from the ball. That one will go against Morton. Is she took Santorelli to the deck. Brianna Brown checks in. Jacob will inbound. Stay with SJU. Go Hawk! Gribble catching oh, oh, no strong. good. Offensive rebound for Mary Sheehan. Gribble tries it again. This time it's into the hands of Richardson. Gribble had a lot of success shooting the long ball at Pittsburgh. Here's Young. Foul on the floor. That'll go against the box. Well, give credit to Morton. She went with three other Hawks and comes down with a crazy good. Great position by Morton. Good timing. Leroy Jim for the first time for SJU. Mary Sheehan checks out. Lincoln is in Division Two for soccer. Holy Five we played, but that's Division One for basketball. That's nuts. Opening quarter, Lincoln with a two-point lead. This is crazy. Richardson from deep got it. Five-point advantage for the Lions. Hawks trying to answer. Gribble left open. Can't connect. Santorelli with the offensive board. And the putback. She has eight. This is good. Get the better base for the soccer, Lincoln. It's just fine. Or maybe there will be better to shoot basketball. On the other hand, the St. Joe's has not gone down to the threes. Lincoln doing an excellent job of being poised offensively when they get in the half court and just finding shooters who are left wide open. I believe Hawks are playing them for the drive. And Lincoln, to their credit, is stepping out and taking the three that the Hawks are giving them. Hawks call 32nd time out. Lincoln as a team, three of eight from downtown. SJU 0 of four. And that's the difference, as I said, Gribble is a very good shooter, just hasn't been able to connect, and we had talked about earlier, is game ready, which shows Hawks in their first game is not to the game level that Lincoln is having played four games. Now in life, I'll do the uh, whole best half. The whole first half, guys. I mean, I'm going to live stream. I'm hoping to do the whole game. Where I'm def definitely doing 
hope I say it in a second. Well, Lincoln comes down this maybe half, half, maybe half trap. I'm, most of the second half I'll do. Second violation called against Gabby Smalls. Well, it looked like it was a, a zone, a two-three zone. Depends on the uh, what time. He followed the St. Joe's Hawks and he ended up the, with uh, Smalls on a violation for three seconds. This gives everybody like four, four that I will do the whole game, but if not, Shop I'll stop. I guess at like four because of the Eagles game. Oh. Lincoln able to force another turnover. This is crazy, Wide open underneath the bucket. Brown able to finish. <laughs> Go St. Joe's get in the game. Go, ladies. This week that he has some of the toughest guards in the country, and they're showing it so far. They certainly are. They really have the Hawks out of control offensively. The Hawks are forced to make quick decisions in the passing. It's just... Not as crisp as it should be. The guard pressure from Lincoln is really throwing the point guards from St. Joe's. All the guards on St. Joseph's out of whack. Ten point advantage for the Lions. Mullins. Five to shoot for Roige. Back up top, Jay Cop, but she stepped to the line. Turnover. That's a five against SJU. But the one thing you don't want to do if you're the Hawks is start to panic, and I believe the Lions are go. And if they continue to panic, Lincoln continually will capitalize and score at ease as they have in the last two possessions, wide open layups. This is crazy. The Lions can hold for the final possession. Twelve seconds left to the corner. Morton, seven. To the lane, bumped and foul. She'll head to the line for two. For one thing Lincoln does do, and we, they've shown in their first four games, they get to the free throw line, having taken 60 free throws so far this season. Lincoln's been way better at basketball than they are soccer. I'll tell you that. And the way that they shoot the ball, they're 68% in the free throw line so far. You'd have to expect that. When always, when always the Avid played, we beat them like, they beat them 7 up and they think every time. Always the Avid beat Lincoln 7 up every time. And when we played them in soccer. Morton makes full 12 point lead for the Lions. Six seconds left in the quarter. Shoot! Two seconds left. Jake Cott from the top lets it fly, leaves his short quarter one over. After 10 minutes, Lincoln with a 12 point advantage. They close out the first quarter on an 8 0 run. Candles in the window, carols by the spinet. Our live stream in next. Next game on live stream will be the. Hold on. Drexel Women's Game Wednesday night at 7. The South St. Joe's Game next Saturday at 1. And I'll do the Temple. Temple. NJIT Game also next Saturday. The Temple Game will be at... 4.30, St. Joe's game at, St. Joe's is now at 1, I'll do, oh, oh, we double headed him, cool, I didn't even notice, I didn't even realize that, yeah. yep, one for you, and one for me, I love it, oh actually that was supposed to be for me, I love it, I like that, it's the GMC season to upgrade, now, what's up everybody, pricing on most GMC models, or current eligible non-GM owners can get this low mileage lease on this 2021 Acadia SLE for around 179 per month. Your next memory is out there. It might be a small one or a giant leap. Maybe it's a memory of you alone or one with him or them. It could feel like magic. 
I didn't even know I didn't even know I could do this. I didn't even know this. It's just waiting to be made. If you just talk them good to do the commercials because the commercials are too long. And Rainey, what's been the story? Ah, we're back. It's the pressure that making a shoe, the hawk guards, and they're playing a very hurried up, uh, advancing the ball, and the pressure of getting the ball over half court forces oh, them to play. Oh, back live. Game's the second quarter right now. The Hawks have seen another team since last March. Lincoln, on the other hand, has experienced four games. Richardson up top. Weaves it for Young. 15 to shoot. Brent. Defense! Deep, deep, defense! Deep, deep, defense! Go no Hawks! That's what Coach Mosley said. She creates mismatches. Jay Cott trailing for three. No good. Ah! Back into the rebound. White! Go Hawks! Has been one shot. Hey, Jones is not looking good right now, guys. Blink on the other hand, Morton on three times has had second chance opportunities. I don't know what's the matter with that, but they're not. They're not looking good. Morin in the lane, diving to the rim, can't hit. Offensive rebound for Gordy. Morin the first game. Weak side, can't hit this time. Collects her own miss. Goes up bucket plus the foul. Yeah, I think that, yeah, this is not the, the, the announcer said it. This is St. George's first game since last March, but... Look at it. The Hawks have not done a good job of weak side boxing. And that's where it's been every time. She just sits on the weak side and waits for the rest. This is crazy. 26 to 10, Lincoln advantage. Yeah. Katie Mayock into the game for the first time for the Hawks. Collects the miss. Constant pressure here for Lincoln. Hawks able to break it this time, but in the front court, Lincoln gets the turnover. Gordy to the rim. Charge called. Jay Cott takes the charge for the second time this afternoon. The way Lincoln plays their full court pressure, it appears though there's seven people on the floor. They really space it. And it looks like there's openings, but that back line is so quick to get there. <sighs> Whoa. Lincoln forces another turnover. That's number seven against the Hawks. Timeout called by SJU. Full timeout. We'll take a break. 819 left to play in the second quarter. It's all Lions with a 16-point advantage here at Hagen. We'll be back after the break on ESPN Plus. King Steven here. How you guys all doing? I'm the king, King Stephen. I don't know. I don't know what they're gonna do. Um, gonna go to commercials or what? But uh, I don't think they should go to every time. I don't think they should go to commercials every time. But who knows? See what other what what other fun things do we have on my put on my head. Wow. What's up, Aaron? This is so cool.
In the Atlantic 10, she can compete. This is so cool, guys. You know, I can do this. So different. What else you got? What else you got, eh? Feeling of family. Wherever I Come up and tap me and say, you, you go to St. Joe's? And I'm like, yeah, I did. Like, we'll help whenever you die. So cool, guys. I never even knew I could do all this. This is so much fun. It gives me something else to do with the commercials, though, so. Oh wow, I think this is my favorite. Christmas lights. College is a time for transformation. You don't go to college knowing exactly what you're supposed to do. I was an undecided business major when I first came to St. Joe's. I ended up switching to interdisciplinary health services. When I made the decision, it did feel like a weight was lifted off my shoulders. I felt like St. Joe's helped me make this decision, and that really made everything much more comforting. Discover your and at sju.edu. This quarter, Young left wide open to answer for three. Get back now, guys. So, uh, whoa, 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 whoa. whoa. Anderson Royge can't hit, caught, caught too far underneath the basket and a foul called against SJU. Well, that time the Hawks really trying to push the pressure. It was a two on three, a little tight for a break. So much, that was so cool, though. Uh, Give me something to, to do with the commercials and entertain everybody. I think that play by Jaycott shows if you get the ball past the first line of defense, you get any look you want. It's just the Hawks have not been seeing them pass that first line of defense when there's pressure. Alina Holmes is in for the first time for Lincoln. I'll do the whole... Morgan, All right, a so... Loose ball, come back a second when the... As soon as this... Really Half is over. It will be 15 minutes for halftime. I can come back so and feel free to come back and join, join, join live stream. Doing everything they should do to score in your half court sets. Um, I don't know if I'll be able to do it all. The whole second half, but as long as it doesn't interfere with the Eagles game, I should. I will be able to do it. Henderson. Finds Jay Cott. Shoot! Santorelli for three. three. That one short. Gabby Smalls collects and finishes. Yes! Hey, Joe's is waking up. Let me tell you that. Turn up. Uh, Gabby Smalls is going to be something to watch out for this season. I couldn't agree more. She came very aggressively last year. Not much uh, of a defense. Year, the she has shown and the she has shown. I think we'll see much more of it this year. She really came on last year. Well, the depth that the Hawks have in the it's front so court cool. too is really going to help her as well. Henderson can't hit. Santorelli comes flying in for the miss. Bucket plus the foul. And that's exactly the Hawks' right knee right now is a second effort. That time Santorelli on the other Wow, this is so cool. Is Beats the 50-50 ball. She gets possession, scores it, and gets... We've seen that from Lincoln. We have not seen that from the Hawks. That was the first time we saw a 50-50 ball won by the Hawks. Santorelli and her Hawks debut. Probably my favorite thing I'd hear. What is it? She averaged just under 10 points a lot the end of season ago. Richardson... 
Off balance, can't hit, rebound, dribble. Well, it's a 7-0 run for SJU. She's fouled, she'll shoot two. I have too much fun with this, guys. Walker whistled for the personal. That's fortunate for a small because smalls really never gained her balance yeah. on that catch. Didn't come down with two feet, but Walker did get her. And she'll get, Gabby will get that free throw line for two. First attempt is up and good. Wow, this is my favorite. Smalls makes both. Janaya Lilly in for the first time. St. Joe's, and just like that, it's a two possession game. Morgan to answer. Yes! <laughs> Textbook trap by the Lions. Brown Euros her way to the rim, and just like that, it's a little 5 0 run for Lincoln. Herself and now the Lions force another turnover. These are the things that Hawks cannot do. They really put themselves in good position, got within two possessions of the game, and then they turn the ball over senselessly. There was really no need to make that pass. Olivia Mullins is back in for the Hawks. Freshman from Somerset, played her high school ball at Rutgers Prep. Defense by the Hawks, but can't get possession. This is my favorite. I think the favorite sticker I got right here. That 5 0 run for Lincoln is well, one of my favorites. Taking place over just about 40 seconds. <laughs> Young. Morton. The ball fake. Can't hit. Still goes flying in. Nearly saves him. Wow. What crazy. Wow. One thing about Morton, he just has game. Yeah. And there's no... You talk about players that drill and get really good. Morton just has game. She knows where the ball's going to land. She knows where her, short, her shots are short. And she just goes after it. Excuse me, guys. Spend some time at Hartford... Community College before joining Lincoln. Uh, uh. That's what Coach Mosley's done so far, is he has collected players from this area, whether they're transfers from junior colleges or Division One, Division Two schools, and he's formed a really impressive roster. He really has, and they, they win. I mean, he has done, for six seasons, has done extremely well, and there's a little putback by Gribble. Loose ball rebound, she picks it up, Gribble, and then... I gotta look this up when I'm done. I'm not sure we're... Lincoln to be one or two. Mosley, I love the way he has his team pushing the ball, but yet they don't take I guess division one because division two ain't playing, but... 320 left in the first half. See the rebounds right there, plus two for Lincoln. Five to shoot. Morton from the corner for three. It's too strong offensive rebound by Young. And she can't hit on the second chance. Let's go, let's go, set it up! Smalls on the baseline, stepped out of bounds. It's unfortunate because that was a nice play by Smalls. She got herself open on a reverse pivot and found Gribble along the baseline. 
but one many, one too many steps, <laughs> and one went out of bounds. Morton, into the lane, gets Santorelli off her feet, shot blocked by Smalls, and the Hawks get the turnover. Mullins, called for steps. This is so cool. I didn't even know I could do this. She tried to teach players catch the ball first, and in that situation, she tried to slap at the ball. And she saw that she went one too many. I didn't even know I could do the stickers or any of that. I never knew that. And I don't. I, that's because I don't do live streams that much, but. Lily. Inside, fighting for a Gordy underneath. And a rebound for Gribble. Oh, wow. I thought that was out. I thought that was... And now to our left. But the wherewithal in that defensive position by Morton, she just went to the shoulder of Gabby Smalls was going to turn. She just picked the ball right out of Gabby's hands. Foul away from the ball called. Katie Mayock's back in. <laughs> This is so cool to, oh, this is my favorite now. I'm sure it picks. Gribble, quick release. Can't hit, rebound, pulled down by Lily. I think you have mind, this is a Gribble's first game in about two and a half years, yeah. so... Give her time. She's going to be very good for the Hawks this season. She can really shoot the ball. Foul call. That'll go against St. Joe's. 96 career threes in two and four, two years and four games at Pitt, basically. And the one thing you like about Gribble's game is the poise that she shows on the offensive end. Like, she wants the ball on her hands. 16 to shoot, three for Brown, got it. I can't believe how good Lincoln is. Brianna Brown makes the three, and now the Hawks turn it over on the other side. Well, the Hawks went on that 12-0 run, and since then there were the two turnovers on back-to-back -back possessions. They're scoreless in the last two and a half minutes. Now they are 12th turnover ranking. That is a lot of turnovers. And give credit to Lincoln, their pressure when the St. Joe guards has really disrupted the St. Joseph's Hawks. And is that why we see Coach Mosley use so much of his depth because of the style that they play? I had thought about that earlier. The reason there are so many players getting in for Coach Mosley is the energy which they expend when they're on the floor. They are 100% after every defensive possession. Mayock on the inside can't connect. Gordy there for the rebounds. And even if it's just short spurts on the bench, that's huge. He gets 100% effort on every defense possession. He is screaming for these girls to get back in the lane, and they get back, they don't allow easy points, and then they pressure aggressively. 10 seconds to shoot, 16 left in the quarter. Patterson in the lane in front of Mayock. She's fouled, she'll shoot two. It's one of those situations where Mayock just happened to be in the wrong place as... I'll be doing the uh, stopping this game, guys. I'll be doing it. I mean, I'm stopping this video now, but I. No, no, no. In just five minutes, I will be back. Uh, 15 minutes for the second half. I'm just going to shoot. Patterson will shoot one more. Oh, what do I want? Patterson will shoot one more. Jaden Walker will check back in. Ryan, my man. I'll come back in 15 minutes, buddy. Walker and Henderson.